Hello everybody, welcome back to Leo's Animal Planet. I just want to say thank you to all of the people that have subscribed to my channel. Um, I've got a thousand subscribers, which means I can now get money um, when I'm of how many views I get on the video. And if I get money, I can donate it to any animal trust or conservation or, or charity. So that's why I really, really need you to share this videos because um, I can save animals by doing this. Also, if we could get 2000 subscribers by the end of the year, that would be so amazing. So hit that subscribe button right now. Um, join out down the fun and just subscribe, like the video ring the bell so you don't miss out on any video that is upcoming and remember to share this video so i can donate money um to the penguins because this is what the um, video today is about so this video is about adorable penguins so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna donate money to penguins international because they do great great things for penguins. My friends at Neon Squid were so kind to send me this book, Young Zoologist Emperor Penguins. Now it is written by Dr. Michelle Lauru and illustrated by Van Quan Fook. Dr. Michelle Lauru is a penguin specialist, wildlife ecologist, and the illustrator Van Quan Fook is very a very famous illustrator um, and he has won a lot of prizes um, because of his amazing art. I have learned so many amazing facts about emperor penguins. They can grow up to four feet, that's about the size of me. And they live in the bottom of the world, Antarctica. They eat krill, fish and squid. Penguins have a world record, the deepest diving bird in the world. Emperor penguins are marvels of nature. They are the deepest diving bird on the planet. And they can survive super harsh winter because of their blubber. Mm -hmm. Their feathers. They're very fat feathers which keep them warm and cozy. They have very strong muscles to help them swim and very powerful flippers. They have webbed feet. Their claws help them walk on ice. They have very strong spikes in their mouth, which helps stop fish escaping. They also mask camouflage. They have a black back and a white belly. See, there's a white belly right there. And this is a black back. And this is also a position of a penguin swimming. So it's got the very long beak, its eyes, its face, the black back and the white belly to blend in from the ocean. This type of camouflage is called counter shading. This camouflage helps them hide from predators like orcas and seals. A group of penguins is called a colony. They stick together to survive the freezing temperatures. They huddle together for warmth. Um, to save energy because they don't really, they don't have any food so and they can like stay without food for a hundred days the book also tells you about penguin evolution and their life cycle as well as talking about different types of penguins it talks about different types of penguins for example the Galapagos penguin, the African penguin, the Gentoo penguin, the little blue penguin, and the Humboldt um, penguin, which is a tongue twister, the king penguin, the chin strap, the Magellanic, the royal penguin, macaroni, snares island penguin. Southern Rock Hopper Penguin, Northern Rock Hopper Penguin, Fjordland Penguin, Erect 
crest it's penguin. Did you know New Zealand has the most type of penguin in the world? Also, unfortunately, the extinct penguins are really cool. One's called the Colossus penguin, um, being bigger can be an advantage. The Colossus penguin could probably stay underwater for up to 40 minutes while hunting prey. The speed beat penguins. Spear beak penguins that lived a, a long time ago probably speared their prey before eating it rather than catching it in their beak. Because you can see it's very sharp. Look how sharp it is. It's very sharp so they can probably like spear the fish like and then they put it in their mouth to eat it. My favourite bit about this is the food web. The Southern Ocean is home to lots of different life forms called organisms. They all play a role in the food web. Emperor penguins have an important role to play in the food web, both as predators and prey. Another exciting part about the book is the diving book, bit of the book called Diving Down. A Delhi penguin 240 meters absolutely crushing my human and it's uh, 787 feet a turtle can dive 290 meters uh, which is 951 feet emperor penguins uh, I'll let you guys take a guess no cheating and looking the video i'll give you 15 seconds Okay, that was a little bit over 15, but um, the answer is 565 meters, 1,854 feet. That is so, it's like, like 400 times a fully grown man. That is so deep. And a sperm whale, well, it can pretty much go to the bottom of the ocean. They can stay underwater for 30 minutes. When outside the water, um, their, their heartbeat is 75 beats per minute. Well, when they're diving, it's only 10 beats per minute. Now that is crazy. Sadly, climate change is having a brutal effect against penguins or any type of penguin in the world. And the book talks about how incredibly climate change has brutally affected these incredible, amazing, spectacular creatures. If the ice melts, they won't really have any places for them to nest um, and have babies. They'll only have it in like zoos. And I'm not really a fan of keeping penguins in zoos. I don't really like that animals are kept in cat activity unless they're part of a breeding program for endangered animals those are the only things that i think about which these are requirements and the rising sea levels is a worry as well the book is published on the 27th of september you can buy it you can pre-order it um and it's really truly a great book and you should buy it and also Donate to Penguin International. Big shout out to Neon Squid, amazing scientists who write books. Um, they do so much for um, animals that are endangered. They're all, they've also released some other amazing books. They've got one about humpback whales, African elephants, which I, I think you should definitely get because they are super endangered. And also, you don't forget about the adorable giant panda. Um, remember, donate to 
the uh, Penguin International, an amazing, amazing conservation um, project. Okay, that's all for today's video. Bye! Remember to hit that subscribe button so we can get 2,000 subscribers. See you next time on Leo Sound Planet. Peace. <laughs> they have webbed feet. <laughs> Man, I'm on fire. Emperor penguins can dive so deep, it's unreal. Like the sperm whale, it's also unreal. They can hold their breath underwater. <laughs> I think the camera can hear that. <laughs>